what's going on everybody welcome back so in the last one we took a look at the tour of the project you are going to be building now in this one we are going to go ahead and get started i have organized the project with all the features that we are going to build at least initially for this series so we are going to start off by setting up a Django boiler break in this one we are going to be installing Django and we will set it up set up our local development environment so we can start developing our project so I'm going to come and start it here. I'm going to pull up my terminal. So I'm in my terminal here. If you're in Windows, you can pull up your command line. If you're in Linux, pull up your, your terminal too. And now we are going to need to first install a couple of things. So one of them is going to be Python. So you're going to need to have like a latest version of Python. You can get any version 3 and X, it's, it's going to be fine. Then once you have that, verify that you have it by running Python version so on mac and linux sometimes you're going to have to find you have two versions installed but check for python 3 so you see i have python 3.7.7 so once you have this you're going to need to have pip pip is a package manager for python it helps you to manage dependencies for your projects so if i run pip pip version so python 3 actually comes with, with pip3 so i'm going to check for pip3 so you can see that i have pip3 and i get the path to where it's, it's located so we can use pip3 to install the project dependencies but now we are going to need to create a virtual environment for for our project now what a virtual environment is is you can think of it as a container for our project so the, the use for that is it can they care of us to isolate the, pro the dependencies of our projects to only our project because you may you can be running actually a lot of projects on your computer and it's good to like organize the dependencies of, of your project into one such that when you move it to like a different computer you can just like install dependencies and boom you're all working other than like not being able to track them back so now i'm going to be using a project called pip env so this is a module that that gives us a, 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 an easier way like to manage our virtual environment. So to install it, you can install it using Brew if you're on a Mac, and then the instructions for for Linux are here. If you're using Windows, you're going to need to do something like uh, you're going to install it using pip actually. So you can do like pip3 install pipnv. So I'm going to run the same here. So when I run it. Notice that I already have it, but if you don't, it's going to go ahead and set it up for you. Now we are going to, to need to like create our project folder. So this is going to be like a folder to encompass our project. So I'm going to, let me see, PWD, which shows me where I am. I'm going to go to my desktop. You can navigate there any way you want, through your file system or through your finder, that's fine. Then create a folder. I'm going to create it. Uh, I'm gonna call it Django Income Income Expense Website. Okay, good one, right? So then I'm gonna cd into cd into it. So I'm gonna cd into Django Expense Website, and now here, so I'm going to run a command pip env share. What this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and set up our, 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 virtual, our virtual environment and then it's going to give us this file called pip file. So this pip file is the one that will keep track of all the dependencies we install. So I'm going to now go ahead and use ppnv to, to install Django. Yeah, so now you can do ppnv install Django. So now you see it is installing Django into our current environment. It's going to take some time depending on your on your internet speed. But mine now is done, and it's after that it logs the the dependency into a file called pip file.log. So now you can use Django to start a new project. So Django comes with a tool called Django Admin. So you can do Django dash admin start project. Then you give it a name. So I'm going to call it uh, expense expenses website. Okay. Also, I misspelled D. So you see, I have two Ds. 
So I'm going to come and correct one. Then when you do that, it's going to, if we do an alias, you can see that we have like more folders created. So I'm going to go ahead and open this in my favorite editor. So I'm going to be using VS Code in this one, but you can use any editor of your choice. But now if we take a look at what we have, let me zoom it in. So you can see that we have a, an expenses website folder and this is where our Django project basically is. So in here, we have basically uh, the Django application. So also you can see that we have like our environment files. So this is where everything we install will go. So right now you see we only have Django, but if we install like, like a testing package, it's gonna go here and then if, if we ever need to run this on another project, let me put up my terminal. This one is easier to work with. But now since this is another terminal, I might need to, to run the share again. Okay, that's fine. So to run, so for, for us to run a project like this on another computer, we'll have to like get it on the computer and then run PPNB. You can run sync or you can run install. So this can now go ahead and install everything in this project and then you will going to be able to run the project. So we are going to run it using Python. So Python, uh, so yeah, we, let's see, ls. So we need to cd into our project folder here and then be able to run this manage.py file. So to do that, so cd into expense website and then now uh, we should be able to run Python and in the py run server. So these are the commands that uh, we use to spin up the, the Django server. So if you run it, you can see that it's going to, let me print this one here, yeah, so you can see properly. It's going to say, it's going to start up a server on our local machine, and then it's gonna tell us that we have some unapplied migrations. So basically what these are, these are, you can think of them as tables that are, that Django comes with. So Django comes with different, like different functionality. And some of that will include like an authentication system built in and admin. You can see it has a way of like managing sessions. So all this has to work to be, most of them has to be saved in a database. So they have like pre-made migrations so we can like set them up on the project. So for now, we'll get back to that. But when we check this thing here, you can see that we have a, a welcome page. So meaning that everything was set up properly, we, we are up and running, everything is good. Now, if we look at our project tracker here, you can see that now this is done. So I'm gonna pause the video here and then I will come back and we take on another one, which I think will be setting up post groups. So we, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can get notified when I post the next video. I'll see you guys in the next one.